Hi, my name is Chris and welcome to my channel, Maverick Next Gen. If you want to know more about how to use a Remarkable 2, smash that subscribe button. Have you ever been in a situation where you've got an EPUB or PDF on a computer and you just want to transfer it to your Remarkable but you have no cloud access, no internet, no 4G, no nothing? This is a situation you face. Tell me in the comments which application you use to transfer PDFs or EPUBs and I will get back to you in the comment below. In this tutorial I will show you exactly how to do that step by step. So let's go straight into it. So there may be a scenario where you're actually in a place where you just don't have any Wi-Fi. There is a well-known secret but you can actually connect your Remarkable straight to your computer via a USB-C cable. In this demonstration I'm going to turn off the the Wi-Fi signal so there's no internet going to my laptop which is a Windows 10 Surface Pro and what I want to show you is I'm going to show you what the storage settings looks like before we connect the USB cable. Okay. So I'm just going to demonstrate this is the case if I go to settings we go to Wi-Fi and as you can see the Wi-Fi is turned off. Now if I go to storage this is the section that tells you about the USB web interface which is what we're going to try and set up to my laptop. Now this is the USB-C cable and that will go in there. So nice and snug next I will plug it in to the surface so let me move that over what you can see there is that nothing really special has happened but as soon as I enter this in okay. did you see that so now a toggle button enabled and what this does is if we enable it now let me just show you guys before I go to it you see that internet round globe that means I don't have any Wi-Fi okay so let's just hop on that unidentified network next I'm now going to enable this on the left the USB web interface and what that tells you is you can actually open a browser so it creates a, a web server on it's actually operating on the Remarkable 2 and if you so I'm going to open Chrome and I'm going to type in what it says HTTP 10.11.99.1 HTTP 10 point eleven point ninety nine point one return and you get the remarkable just a, a regular viewer of the, the files that are on your remarkable it's not completely structured as you would see it in the let's have a look if you go back to it in this section it's different. I think maybe if you can sort it as it is, sort it by last updated. But nonetheless, this is now a method where you can drag and drop files from your your laptop, your desktop, in an environment, for example, if you're in your business, your corporate world where you're not allowed to bring your own device, you're not allowed to connect it to your Wi-Fi network, and you have actually got access where you can plug the USB cable into your laptop or desktop. That is a easy route to go and also you didn't have to have the, the desktop app or the mobile app, it's just drag and drop literally. So what I'm going to demonstrate to you now guys, when you ebooks, because that's what I'm going to do, ebook. So these are all the ebooks I've got. So this simple web browser allows you to navigate your folder structure. Uh, it doesn't really allow you to do anything in terms of update or anything. It's very simple. You can just drag new documents into place into your system. 
and then what happens is I'm going to get I'm going to drag the EPUB version into here and as you notice what it says is you can drop to upload to your remarkable PDFs or EPUB files so once I do that it's busy doing something and actually we look over here copying it should at some point drop Stephen Covey's book onto into the ebooks directory. And there it is, can you see that? And it says one second go. So there you go folks. So I hope you like that little trick. Now don't forget guys, if you want to use the Wi-Fi in the cloud network, again, you need to switch back on your Wi-Fi and when you take the cable out, the USB web interface will disappear. Thank you for watching this video and if you like what you see, smash that like button, but more importantly, hit the subscribe button and the notifications bell so that you don't miss out on the new videos that are coming shortly. Also, have a look at my how-to videos and the videos that are here and here.